What's gravy, baby? Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy Trey. Follow Trey. I never lead you astray. What I want to get into today, we could go over the top 20 defensive linemen, the top 20 edge rushers that were brought out from Madden 24. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, this has nothing to do with mutt. This is just the, the straight, regular mutt. The, I mean, not mutt, the regular Madden 24 um ratings for these players you know for regs and also um the new 99 we have a new 99 overall club member that just got released as well um last video we went over safeties we went over wide receivers so make sure to check out the top 20 list of those and we went over you know the 99s that were released it was aaron donald and the other 99 was jay jettas justin jefferson so for this video you know what i'm saying we about to go over the new 99 overall club member, and that is Mr. Zach Martin. You hear me? Zach Martin, man, he has been a staple for offensive guards pretty much. Shoot, I don't know, bro. Like, pretty much for the past goddamn decade, he's been the most dom one of the most dominant guards in the league. This is the first 99 overall guard in the league since 2003. So that, that, that helps you or makes you know that, damn, okay, this dude right here really about that action, baby. He really about that action, Walter, you hear me? Hey, this boy Zach Martin, is, he, he, he ain't to be played with, dog. He really not to be played with. He, um... He was going to be one of the guys I put on my prediction list, you know, because I had Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Fred Warner, and Justin Tucker as my next 99 overall club members. And I was going to put Zach Martin on that prediction list, but I just didn't know if they would really give it to him because, you know, he's getting a little older. He gets banged up every now and then. So I didn't know if they'd give it to him, but hey, he does deserve it, bro. He really does deserve it. A shout out to the offensive lineman out there in the trenches. This dude be putting the paws on people, laying them down to the goddamn ground. I hot pancake city, baby. You know what I'm saying? Hey, buy a platter, get a platter for free, baby. Zach Mar serving up the goddamn I hot pancakes. So well deserved for the 99 club for Zach Martin. You know, other notable guys that you that could have maybe been considered like Trent Williams, Quinn Nelson, Jason Kelsey, um, Lane Johnson, those type of guys right there. Um you know, are some goddamn monsters too. But Zach Martin is that guy when it comes to the offensive line. So beyond that, let's start with the defensive line. The top 20 defensive line members are popping up both lists on the screen right now. So Aaron Donald, Chris Jones, Desta Lawrence, Quentin Williams, Cameron Hayward, Jonathan Allen, Jeffrey Simmons, Vita Vea, DJ Ritter, and Christian Wilkins, top 10. So you see all the ratings there. You know, I shouldn't have to say something. If you, hey, hey, if you got eyes, you can see. You can see them ratings, baby. 99, 96, 94, 93, 93, 92, 89, 88, 87, 86. So Aaron Donald at a 99, go figure, bro. We all knew that was probably gonna happen. Um, you know, I know, hey, I already talked about him yesterday. The dude's a goddamn beast. You can't block him one on one. Chris Jones, yeah, he's always usually second fiddle. He's always usually the second best defensive lineman that they put under Aaron Donald. Um, Quentin Williams, Dexter Lawrence, those guys, everybody else on this list is fine. I mean, honestly, the only other person I can say that may got disrespected a little bit was Vita Vea. He's maybe the only one on this list right here. I'm like, okay, maybe you could have gave Vita Vea a 90 overall. You know what I'm saying? That's the only guy I probably can make an argument that maybe got done dirty on this list right here. And then going to, to the next side here, 11 through 20, you got Grady Jarrett, Kenny Clark, DeForest Buckner, Zadarius Smith, Calais Campbell, Grover Stewart, ja Javon Hargrave, Derek Brown, De'Aaron Payne, and John Franklin Myers. Out of all these dudes right here, um, I'm pretty much fine with their ratings. Um, Zadarius Smith, somebody refresh my memory. Ain't this dude a goddamn edge rusher? I thought he lined up on the edge, y'all. Just let me know or am I tripping? I really thought this dude lined up on the edge. But him at an 85, he used to be way higher than that. So that's a little nasty right there. Calais Campbell, old ass, still in the top 15. That's crazy. Javon Hargrave, he's a staple for that defense for the Eagles. He'll probably play a little better and he'll probably be higher up on that list. Derek Brown for the Panthers, he's also another guy that's probably going to make us make a little rise as well. So let me know what you think about the D line. I don't really see any any big problem 
per se with the D lineman. I think it's pretty much fine with those ratings. Besides maybe like Vita Vea, you know what I'm saying? Um, edge rushers popping up both lists right here. The top 20 edge rushers. You got Nick Bosa, 98. Miles Garrett, 98. Michael Parsons, 97. TJ Watt, 94. Von Miller, 94. Max Crosby, 94. Joy Bosa, 91. Hassan Reddick, 90. Demarcus Lawrence, 90. J Matthew Judon, 89. Okay, so I do got a couple problems with the top 10 right here, baby. I do got a couple problems with this. So, let me know if y'all think. Okay, number one, number two, we fine. Nick Bosa, Miles Garrett, we all good on that, baby. We all good on those two. No big problem. I didn't think that, I didn't think Nick Bosa would get a 99 because he did get hurt and banged up, and I knew that would play a factor. That's why he's a 98. Miles Garrett, he's a 98 too. He was a 99 last year, I believe, or the year before that. But hey, that dude Miles Garrett always putting in some goddamn work. Yo, you better watch out too. He might smack you across the head with a helmet. Michael Parsons and T.J. Watt. That's my big problem. Okay, we know Michael Parsons, the new toy for the Cowboys, the new big toy for the Cowboys, you know what I'm saying? But should he be three points higher than TJ Watt? And, and my, hey, and I think not. Nah. I think nah, baby. I don't think he's three points better than um, TJ Watt. That's my opinion. If I was doing the ratings, I would have had Michael Parsons and TJ Watt equivalent. I believe right now in, in, in their careers in the National Football League, you hear me? I believe they about even right now as players. Michael Parsons is on the rise, don't get me wrong, but I would probably say both of them at 96 overall would be fair. That's my opinion, let me know what you think, but I think Michael Parsons and TJ Watt should be at the same at 96. Von Miller, just based off his name, is a 94 because he was hurt during the end of the season and couldn't help out the Bills. So this dude, Von Miller, could have been like a 92 or 91, but because he holds that value with his name, he's a 94. I do not believe he should be the same overall as TJ Watt, though. If anything, Von Miller, I probably would have put Von Miller at a 93 or a 92, and I would have moved Max Crosby above him you know, T.J. Watt obviously above him as well. And I probably would have had Von Miller at number six. You got that? Good. Joy Bosa always hurt. Hassan Reddick on the rise. Demarcus Lawrence, uh, you know, he's he half the season he plays good. Half the season he plays, you know, mediocre. Matthew Judon, if you had any problems, um, if you had any other problems, Matt, if I had any of the props, it's probably Matthew Judon. He was leading the league in sacks most of the season. He cooled off a little bit, but at an 89, I feel like that's a little disrespectful. Maybe 91, 92 or something like that would have been better for Matthew Judon. So, Patriots fans, I'm with you on that, baby. I'm with you. So, let's go over to the next side here, 11 through 20. Edge rushers, we got Rashawn Gary, 88. Brian Burns, 87. 87, Trey Henderson, 87. Cameron Jordan, 87. Danielle Hunter, 85. Josh Allen, Chase Young, 85. Khalil Mack, 85. Josh Sweat, 84. Greg Ro Ro Rousu Rousu Rose, whatever, he 84. So, my main problem right here, my boy Cam Jordan, baby, I get a little disrespectful, you hear me? Why he at 87? This boy, A. Hey, this boy right here, Cameron Jordan, should be at least an 88. At least an 88, maybe 89. You know what I'm saying? This is disrespectful. Cameron Jordan's still out here getting double-digit sacks, and he out here old. He out here older than anybody on this list, and he's still getting double-digit sacks. Stop disrespecting my dude, bro. You hear me? Stop disrespecting my Saints legend, Cameron Jordan. Y'all better cut it out, you hear me? All right, we gonna show y'all something. We gonna show y'all something. And then, um, who else? Who else I got a problem with? Trey Henderson, 87. Maybe he could have been a little bit higher at an 88, 89. Daniil Hunter, uh, I think around 87, 88 is good for him. Chase Young was banged up, but I believe he's going to probably have a breakout year. Um, Khalil Mack, how the money has fallen. They just disrespecting the hell out of Khalil Mack, baby. God damn. That boy Khalil Mack used to be real cold, y'all. What the hell happened to Khalil Mack? Let me know in the comment section. What, what, what happened to the downfall in Khalil Mack? This is ridiculous. So that that's pretty that's that's pretty much what I wanted to get into today as far as the ratings go. The defensive linemen in the edge rushers, you know, usually are a top staple in the goddamn game. And Madden 24, at least in the beta, 
it's kind of the same i saw if you have a trash o-line you would get feasted on by a good d-line if they're even then you have to send more pressure in order to get pressure you hear me you got to send more dudes just like this season if you if a guy has edge protector or if a guy has secure protector and you know you have a good defensive line you're going to cancel each other out so the way to get pressure you're going to have to send more than four you got to send about six seven people which we do a lot you know we send at least six every goddamn play at least about six sometimes we might put dudes out in coverage but you're gonna have to send a lot of people and that's what i saw in the beta is that hey you know if your offensive and defensive line are equivalent you got to send more heat but that's pretty much the top 20 defensive linemen, top 20 edge rushers. Let me know any arguments y'all got with the ratings, which I think about that 99 overall Zach Martin. But until next time, it's been your boy. Y'all stay blessed. Be easy, stay breezy, man.